Okay. So we're on a mission. And we're on a mission to get trunk strength. And I'm going on some of the things I've learned at PT. Most of all follows what I've been doing my whole life. I'm just trying to put it all together in some semblance of order that um, works. Okay, here we go. Legs tied together so they don't fall apart. Not so easy. Get as close to keep the angle of the body decent. Okay. And lay down. Then I try and do some holding my head because it hurts my neck a little bit. I have to be really careful. And I go a little flatter so I don't scrunch my shoulders up. So I do a whole bunch of those till I can't stand anymore. Then I do side reaches. I hope you can see this. Lift a little and reach to the side. Come down here. Take a breath. Reach to the side. Come to the center. And come down. Really supposed to try not to plop down in between all of this, but um, I'm working at it. Okay, I'll do a couple of more. Lift, twist, reach, 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 and in, and down, and lift, and twist and reach, and center. So after I do a bunch of those, I start again. Then I do rotate for the obliques, side to side, kind of diagonal sit-ups. Anybody who's exercised knows all of this stuff. Pretty basic stuff. So you think. Breathe each time. Because I have to be real careful about my breathing. And up. Okay. Now, I would have never done any of this before. Um, that's why I have the neck brace on to protect my neck brace. These are not the kinds of exercises that I would normally condone for anybody with spine problems, but um, it's the best I can do since I can't hold my legs up and do the kind of exercises I used to do for trunk work, which most people know as core work. I call it trunk work. Okay. Then I work on um, butt lifts. Not much different word for it. So, Take a deep breath, contract the whole abdominal cavity, and 
square and can you see how that comes up? I don't know if you can see. And uh, down. And squeeze. Try and get some liquid in there. Sometimes they cooperate a little bit. Sometimes they don't. Sure that all this is pulled in, contracted, tight, and I have to to make sure that it's all working. I have to touch it because I can't quite feel the contraction happening. So I have to make sure that I can touch as I go along, making sure that it's all working. Um, then today I discovered that I can do working on my arms and things like for transfers and also getting my upper back and arms stronger. I can scoot and I can lock my elbows in and lift my legs and come down. And lift and come down. And lift and come down. I do as many as those. And I do as many of those as I can. And then back a little and stretch. You want to sit up as straight as possible. So, um, one of the reasons I do this in front of the mirror is so I can keep an eye and work on keeping straight. And of course, both sides. this ladder thing they gave me in the hospital and I use it to hook around my feet and to dorsiflex so one day when I can walk again it keeps the stretch of the calf and the Achilles and I work all behind my knee and my hamstring and also my lower back to keep that strong so I use my arm strength there that I have to gently reach out. The more you relax, the more you stretch. It has to do with the Golgi tendon organ. For anybody who's interested in the science of it, of course, both sides. Lift, try and stay as tall as possible. Yeah, I feel like I'm teaching a class. Okay. Sit as tall as I can, for as long as I can. Again, working on, sorry, working on stretching the calf, Achilles, sorry, that's reversed, calf, Achilles. Hang down and hang. And take off my glasses. So my head can fit right between my legs. Sometimes I just play with whatever I have. That's part of the body work I do. Just playing with whatever I can find that I can do. Turn my legs out. Work on stretching that way. It's different. Rounding the back. And um, that's that's um part of my workout. Now I'm going to do um, a little bit more alone and um, get ready for physical therapy down at Rope Rehab.